Western self-psychologists tell us that we're not born with a psychological sense of self. It develops somewhere between 12 and 24 months when representational thinking develops. What it means is the self is constructed. The more I have a strong sense of self, the more it serves as a central organizing principle for my daily experience. It provides continuity over time and space. So over the course of my life, in the time elapses, I feel like the same person. That's what the mind does. It constructs. It constructs an out there world. Visual forms are constructions. The sense of self is a construction. Sound is a construction. If you look at time in a certain way, you can see beyond time, and even that's a construction. And the trouble is that we tend to make those constructions too real or too solid, as if they're independently existing. And the consequence of that is that we reify the world, making it too real or too solid. And that has two negative consequences. One is it has grab. A lot of the suffering of my daily life is organized around self-grab. And second, it has the capacity to obscure my true nature. And if you start looking at all these constructions of mind as constructions and see beyond them, then you get back to how it's all basically constructed from awareness. The whole show is made from the expressive, lively aspect of awakened awareness. The metaphor is like the sun. At some point, the clouds clear away. We often say the sun came out, but that's not exactly correct. The sun is always shining, except that from our perspective of being under the clouds, we can't see the sun's always shining. And it's like that with the awakened mind, the limitless boundless, awakened awareness is always right here. 